Hey guys, how you doing? So a few years ago, I did a video where I said Swift was going down and it got a lot of buzz. People were pissed off, Swift developers. And uh, so I said, because of the nature of modern development where everything's very web focused, as opposed to native application development focused, I'm talking about, of course, building mobile, mobile apps. I noticed that they were moving towards non-native solutions, cross-platform, React Native, PWAs, or simple, simply responsive websites, basically web-based technology, Flutter, because of the cost. You see, if you develop native mobile with iOS, and you're going to be using Swift for the most part, or you're going to be doing Kotlin Java, Kotlin Java for Android, that's an expensive proposition for a lot of companies, right? Because you got to develop a whole new code base for each platform. Expensive. So if you're building games or you're building apps that require uh, high performance, there are certain, uh, or you need to access hardware features that you can't through the, uh, the cross-platform solutions like a Flutter and so on. Yeah, I can see people going to be writing mobile, native mobile, for sure. And it's still going to happen. But f what I saw in the day was more and more companies developing business apps, text-only apps, you know, filling in forms, that kind of stuff, which is the, the majority of, de of the development. We hear about games and so on, but at the, at the end of the day, it's all those business apps that you, you don't hear about that the big players like SAP and so forth are developing. And they're new using non-native solution because of the tremendous cost in maintaining two code bases. Anyway, so I did this video several years, I think it was 2018. I said, yeah, Swift is going to go down. I didn't say it was going to disappear. It's, it's popular. It was going to sh slowly, uh, slowly shrink. Anyway, so I decided to take a look at this to revisit this a few years later. And sure enough, uh, my prediction uh, is working out based on some some data here. So according to um, a Stack Overflow survey, uh, there was a there is a continuous slow drop in uh, Swift development. So it went from a 5.64% in 2021 to 5.18% in 2022, 4.96% in 2023. So that's uh, approximately getting close to a 1% drop over a two, three year period, 2024, you know, it's not done yet. So again, as I said, a slow decline. It doesn't mean that Swift is going away. It just means that uh, that uh, trend was, uh, you know, if you, had a, if you had eyes for software development, if you understand the business of software development, you'd, you'd see that this was coming. That being said, I may, I'm predicting perhaps there might be a little bump uh, in the favor of native mobile development, specifically Swift, because of uh, Apple's integration of AI, uh, which is coming out with the iPhone 16. I think 15 will support it as well. Based on what Apple was saying in their presentation about Apple intelligence, assuming this is an accurate representation of what the feature set is going to be all about in terms of the integration of AI, then I'm thinking that that is going to excite a lot of people because with this very tight integration with AI and their operating system and their hardware, I think to take full advantage of that, you're going to need to go native. Again, I don't know what the Flutter people are going to do. I don't know how Apple might expose this to people who are developing PWAs. Perhaps it will come. But I think uh, I would guess in the next two, three years, you're probably looking at uh, a little bump not a huge bump, but a little bump in Swift development, native Swift, because of the Apple intelligence integration. Again, I'm not one of these doomers who believe that AI is going to replace everybody. No, I believe it's a productivity enhancing technology. Uh, sp having spoken to active uh, developers and web developers, they tell me it may speeds up. It speeds up the job by maybe 10, 15 percent. Some say 20 percent. That's the productivity gains they get from AI implementations. So anyway, there you go. So my initial prediction from a few years ago that Swift was going to slowly go down because of the things I just discussed has uh, happened. 
you know, one percent over two or three years is, is it's not it's not it's not huge. That's for sure. But it's you know it's in the direction I, I figured it would go. But because of Apple intelligence, because of that integration, I am guessing that native mobile will have a have an advantage in that context. So we'll see how that goes. At any rate, you know how I feel about development in general. Doesn't matter what language you decide to use, because once you learn Swift, if that goes away, which it won't, but if that goes away or you can't find jobs, you can pivot to something else and it won't be too difficult for you. All right, I'm Uncle Step. Not Step, I'm Uncle Steph. If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up. If you found my hair was too long, give me two thumbs down. And uh, if you disagree with anything I just said in this video, please let me know. I'm always open for discussion, and uh, I'm also open to learning something new. You, even at my decrepit age here, I learn new things every now and then, that's for sure. Even in software development, after 30 years. <laughs> Bye.